to ban the importation of primates for research. Uh, this bill needs to be passed. We need to ensure that we do not allow primates to be imported for that purposes. It's also needed to send a very strong message internationally that it's time the trade was cleaned up. There is much work being done by animal rights groups around the world. Many countries have already moved this way across Europe and in the United States. There's a ban on, on big apes being used for such research. Uh, New Zealand has certainly been doing some excellent work in this area. With regard to the Australian government, they do need to not only shut the gate, but they need to lock the gate on any chance of primates being introduced for research. It is true that since 2009, there are no primates have been introduced for, brought into Australia for research purposes. But between 2000 and 2009, hundreds of macaques listed by the IUCN, they're on their uh, red list, as vulnerable, possibly going to extinction. And this is where we need to clean up the trade because at the moment, when these animals are captured, uh, these primates are often taken from wild habitat. It's often presented that they've actually been um, bred for research purposes. And we now understand from a lot of undercover investigations that that's not the case. There really needs to be a clean up here and the Greens bill would be an important contribution. And I'm very pleased to be here with Helen Marsden who is um, one of the people in Australia who has been to the forefront of this work. And the Greens uh, very much congratulate uh, the um, Humane, Humane Research uh, Australia, Animals Australia and the Humane Society of Australia for their leading work in this area, which is how the Greens have been able to develop our work. I'll hand you over to Helen. Thank you. Undercover investigations by the British Union for the abolition of vivisection have revealed a cruel international trade in primates for research. Regrettably, Australia has been part of that trade, having imported around 600 macaques from Indonesia since the year 2000. This is despite the fact that Australia is already home to three government-funded primate breeding colonies, and despite the fact that the international research community is supposed to be embracing the three R's principle of refine, reduce and replace animals. These primates are being used in invasive medical research. This itself is highly objectionable, considering the cruel and intricate differences that render data obtained from other species unreliable when transferred to humans. Even the US regulatory authority, the FDA, has confirmed that nine out of 10 drugs deemed successful from animal experiments fail in human clinical trials. The capture of these primates from the wild the separation of family groups and social networks, the long arduous journeys and confinement in foreign holding facilities adds further insult to these highly sensitive and intelligent animals. As shown in the footage provided from the BUAV, wild capture is often a highly stressful process with significant potential for injury. Conditions in holding facilities in developing countries are often substandard with regards to animal welfare and the prevention of disease transmission in these stressed and immunocompromised animals. Despite the clear evidence demonstrated in the BUAV report, the federal government has refused to acknowledge that Australia is engaging in an illegal trade, or at the very least call for an investigation into the evidence and allegations highlighted in the report, which clearly indicates macaques are being captured from wild populations and imported illegally. In 2011, Federal MP Mike Simon tabled a petition of over 10,000 signatures calling for a ban on the importation of primates for research. This ban will not have any negative impact on medical research in Australia. It will not have any impact on the Australian economy. Australia does not need to import primates for research. We have this opportunity to make a bold statement to the rest of the world that we will not partake in this cruel, corrupt and unethical treatment of our closest relatives. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks very much.